first year in FBS, the new uh, stadium uh, renovation completed, uh, Western Athletic Conference, Sunbelt Conference next year, three conferences in three years. So uh, everybody's fired up and, and looking forward to it, and it's exciting to finally get out to practice for fall camp. And uh, just looking around in the stadium, I mean, just, just kind of gives you chills and goosebumps just looking around and seeing how beautiful it is. Well, it does for me, especially uh, since I was here 20 years ago or a little over 20 years ago. And to see uh, the advancement and the progress this athletic department has made, the entire university for that matter, and to think about this place maybe being full on September 8th, it does give you some chills. How about your schedule, playing Houston, Texas Tech, teams like that? Give me your thoughts. Well, it's a tough schedule. We've got – we're – uh, we're jumping in with both feet on this thing, and uh, <clears throat> you know the great thing about college football, we go from San Jose, California, all the way to Annapolis, Maryland, so west coast to east coast and parts in between, and uh, we've got some, some good football teams on this uh, schedule, and this would be a tough schedule for a team that's been in Divi FBS or Division One football for five years, let alone one year or their first year, so we know we have challenges, but uh, we'll grow with it. How about your offense? Just you know, kind of give me some keys, you think, to your offense this year. Well, number one, we've got to take care of the football and not turn it over as many times as we did last year. We weren't very good at, in that department. We've got to be better on third down. We've got to be more efficient in the red zone. We need our quarterbacks to step up and, and um, take care of the ball well and because it's so much of what we do depends on their decision making. And, uh, you know, make the other teams beat us more than lose to them, which when we lost last year, that's what happened. And defensively, thoughts? Defensively, I think uh, the biggest things are, are – uh, uh, finding a way to, to rush the passer because we're going to face a lot of throwing teams. Uh, you know, being good on third down and again going to the red zone and, and getting stops down there and holding them out when they do get down there. And finally, I'm doing a little story with Andy Erickson. Give me your thoughts about him, the heart he has, the kind of player he is. Well, Andy is uh, is the kind of guy that you, you, as a coach, that's why you coach, to coach people like him. Uh, he always gives his best for the team. Uh, he's a good athlete. He's a good player. Uh, you never have any question of where his heart and mind is in regard to things. And, uh, you know, everybody should raise a son like that one.